Let me start by congratulating you. You are lucky to be alive at a time like this when spirits are at an all-time low and outrage at an all-time high. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Quarantine Catch-Up. Uh, now, this story that I'm about to tell you is a little old, but it caught some fire during the early days of lockdown in India, and it's completely bonkers. And it's about this man. <laughs> This man. <laughs> Before we start, I should give you some context. He self-proclaimed as his divine holiness, Nithyananda Paramashivan. He teaches, he preaches, he has many ashrams offering enlightenment. Oh, and spoiler alert, he has a rape charge against him. He's accused of torture and criminal conspiracy. The, the triple deal. I'll develop a proper phonetic, a linguistic, Capable vocal cord for monkeys. And how are you going to do that exactly? Phonetic, a linguistic, capable vocal cord for lions and tigers. No, seriously, how? We are going to have bulls and cows which will talk to you very clearly, legitimately in Sanskrit and Tamil. What? That doesn't even make any goddamn sense. It seems like you'll have to find a, a complicated method or like you have to be a Nazi scientist to do that. Once their third eye is infused with superconscious breakthrough, the internal organs they develop can be shifted, transplanted to human beings. I had no idea that that's how organ transplants work between humans and animals. Okay, this might be a hot take, but maybe we should just leave animal organs alone? Just an afterthought. Uh, I wanted uh, you to respond when people say, why does Swamiji have to wear so much jewelry? I am not life escapist, life negative Vedanti who can't touch gold. Mm. Very good. Same way, I am not materialist who is interested in gold. Mm. Ah, yes. Nothing says humble and lovable like wearing a gold chain like your flavor flave. We use for spiritual purpose. Mm. And gold as showing off only for the poor fellows who don't know spirituality. Mm. I have an idea. Give it up. Just do it. Oh, are you afraid that the poor won't show up in the ashram because when they find out there's no gold anywhere, they won't face any real spirituality? Of course they won't. There's nothing materialistic about gold. And these people don't know anything about spirituality. The poor? <laughs> because, damn, that's a sure way of exploiting good folk, huh? So December last year, a website claimed that uh, Nityanandan bought an island, and I'm not making this up, <laughs> from Ecuador, and self-claimed it and sort of named it uh, Kailasan. He describes it as a nation without borders created by dispossessed Hindus around the world who lost the right to practice Hinduism authentically in their own countries. I don't know, guys. Sounds like he wanted an island to do whatever the f he wanted, you know like a criminal so the police are obviously investigating him and from late last year to now they still have no idea how he fled because his passport expired so why are we even talking about this guy well he mentions and calls out his critics by saying this some indian people had laughed and mocked me when i isolated myself by creating the new country as kailasa now the whole world is talking about social distancing. Lord Parmashivan has saved us. Power of God. He's, he's literally saying that about himself. How he, the Lord, has saved everyone. It's, it's, very, it's very weird. I don't know, maybe COVID can be cured by the words of this very smart man. Oh, and uh, now we have a word from our spiritual advisor of Quarantine Catch-Up. You don't need degrees from any liberal arts colleges or even be particularly gifted. You have to master the art of making a fool of millions. 
all you need to do is spew some rubbish and have a proclivity for making promises you have no intention of ever fulfilling. There's never a shortage of gullible masses that think that their existence is under threat from evil forces. All you need to do is prey on their fears and make sure that they believe that you are their savior. Before you embark on this ambitious journey, you will need rich donators to donate to your cause and also fulfill your dreams and having a lot of ashrams. Finding rich following is, is easy peasy. Once they know that you are capable of murder, money laundering, shady deals, tantric practices, they will flock to you like flies to cow dung. Remember the corrupt attract the corrupt. Keep lying. It's amazing what you can get away with just lies. I barely pay taxes. Your ashram will be a sanctuary where everyone who seeks your blessings, they might even find success. But we both know everything you say is complete horseshit. You will also have to float some very impressive stories about yourself. Like the only way your followers can gain knowledge is by drinking your own piss or how flowers sprout when you look at soil or how you walked on water that one time. When you are the law, you are the first one to break laws. And, and don't worry, all of this will definitely not turn you into a megalomaniac. This is probably a bad idea to use this flag for this segment, because this guy's a complete disgrace. 